in the previous lecture we have seen different flip flops like sr flip flop jk flip flop and then t flip flop and then d flip flop okay so now let us see how to convert the uh, how to convert the given flip flop to the other flip flop okay so for the first we will discuss sr to jk flip flop okay so first let us see what is the procedure for converting the given flip flop to the other flip flop okay so at the end of this lecture you will be able to convert the given flip flop to the other flip flop okay so first let us see the procedure for it okay so the procedure is so first uh, write the characteristic table for the required flip flop okay so and then after that write the excitation table for the available flip flop after that we need to write the conversion table and then after that we need to write the uh, expressions boolean expressions for the available flip flop and then after that we need to draw the logical circuit by using the obtained expressions okay so first let us see okay so what is our required flip flop and what is our available flip flop okay so first uh, let us see the given conversion is sr to j the given conversion is sr to jk okay so sr to jk so that means that our available flip flop is sr okay available is available is sr and our required flip flop is nothing but jk okay our required is our required flip flop is jk so first we will write the characteristic table for the required flip flop so the required flip flop is jk so the characteristic table starts with okay so flip flop input so that is j k and then qn plus 1 okay so j k and then qn plus 1 okay so j k for the j k we will write four combinations okay so that is 0 0 0 1 1 0 and then 1 1 and the qn plus 1 so that is nothing but the next state okay so the next state can be okay so for the 0 0 combination it is nothing but q okay so that means that we have a memory so whatever the values given for the uh, j and then k that is going to be stored okay so we will write it as q okay and then 0 and then 1 okay for this we have a 0 uh, that is a reset condition for 1 0 so that is 1 and then for 1 1 okay so that is nothing but the complement of the q okay so this is the characteristic table for the required flip flop and then next let us write the excitation table for the excitation table for the available flip flop okay so the excitation table starts with q and then qn plus 1 so that means that this is my present state and then this will be the next state so from this present state and then next state we have to write the okay so the flip flop inputs that is sr okay so let us write the combination so that is 0 0 0 1 1 0 and then 1 1 so sr you can remember the excitation table for the sr flip flop okay so for the 0 0 we will write it as 0 and then don't care okay so the next one is 0 1 so we will write it as 1 0 and then for 1 0 we will write it as 0 1 and then for 1 1 okay so we will write it as uh, don't care and then 0 you need to remember the excitation table for the sr flip flop okay and then next let us see okay so next let us write the conversion table so the conversion table starts with okay so we have to write uh, the conversion table starts with so j k okay so j k the conversion table i am writing the conversion table here so j k q and then q n plus 1 so after that from this we have to uh, write esr okay so j k and then q so here we are going to have eight combinations so let us write the eight combinations here okay so 0 0 0 and then 0 0 1 so this is 0 1 0 okay so this is 0 1 0 0 1 1 and then 1 double 0 1 0 1 and then 1 1 0 and then triple 1 okay so from this okay so let us remember the jk uh, characteristic table when the input is 0 0 okay so whatever the value of q we have a memory so that means that we will write it as uh, q so when the input is 0 and then 0 for the jk okay so we will write it as memory so we will write okay q okay so next one is and when the input is 0 1 we will write it as uh, reset okay so uh, we we can remember from the characteristic table of the jk so when the input is 
0 1 so that is reset ok so now we can write it as 0 0 and then when the input is 1 0 ok so the state is going to be in the set so we will write it as 1 and then when the input is 1 1 whatever the value of input of q ok so uh, it is going to be the complement ok so the q is going to be the complement ok so 0 and then 1 so 0 can be written as 1 and then 1 can be written as 0 and then next let us see how to write the sr values ok so from the sr values ok to write the sr values we have to see the q and then qn plus 1 ok so you need to remember the excitation table here ok so we need to remember the excitation table here so that is q and then qn plus 1 we will write sr from the q and then qn plus 1 we will write sr you need to remember this excitation table ok so we will take uh, 0 and then 0 so 0 0 can be written as 0 and then don't care so 1 1 can be written as ok so 1 1 can be written as he don't care and then 0 so we can see from here so 1 1 you can return it as he don't care and then 0 ok so for 0 0 you have to write 0 and then don't care for 1 1 it is the opposite of it 1 uh, it is the opposite so that is don't care and then 0 and then next for 0 1 ok so you can remember like this for 0 1 you will take the complement that is 1 0 for 1 0 you will write it as 0 and then 1 ok so with this you can remember the S, uh, the JK flip flop ok so with this we can remember the excitation table of the ok so yes sir and then now let us see how to uh, how to uh, get the remaining values so that is 0 1 ok so for the zero, for the 0 0 it is 0 don't care for the 1 0 you will write it as 0 and then 1 for the 0 1 you will write it as 1 and then 0 for the 1 1 you will write it as don't care and then 0 for the 0 1 you will write it as 1 0 for the 1 0 you will write it as 0 and then 1 ok so now our conversion table has completed ok so the you can observe here we will write the jk inputs ok so the flip flop inputs jk ok so that is our required so first our write the required flip flop inputs later we will write the present state and the next state and then after that we will write the available ok so flip flop inputs so that is the ok so that is the procedure for converting the uh, that is the procedure for writing the conversion table so first we need to write the required flip flop inputs so the required is jk so we will write jk inputs first and then after that we will write the present state and then next state ok so from this we will write the uh, flip flop ok available flip flop inputs that is sr by using the excitation table we will write the sr flip flop inputs ok so next uh, we need to derive the boolean expressions for ok so derive the boolean expression for s as well as r so for that let us take a three variable k map for yes and then r ok so three variable k map for yes as well as r so i am going to take three variable k map with the inputs the first one is j other one is k and then q so we can have the k map like this this is 1 1 and then 1 0 so we can fill the values of yes like this so that is 0 x and then 0 0 the next one is 1 don't k so 1 and then 0 ok so you can remember the values here you can remember the flip flop uh, cell values so, so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 ok so we can uh, remember the values so based on that I have filled the values of it and then next uh, let us map like this ok so you can map like this ok so this is nothing but we are going to have only one expression so that is for s is equal to the expression is ok so j into ok so s is equal to j into and then you need to take ok so this value and then this value so that is nothing but q bar ok so from the 0 0 and then 1 0 we have a common value that is 0 that is for q so we will write it as q bar so the answer for s is nothing but j into q bar and now let us see how to get the values for how to get the expression for r so for that also we will take a 3 variable k map ok so the inputs for that are so similarly j k and then q so we will write 0 1 and then this is 0 0 0 1 1 1 and then 1 0 ok so we will write like this so don't care 0 other one is don't care 1 the next one is 0 0 so uh, z So we will write 0 0 other one is 0 and then 1 ok so you can take ok so you can take a group like this ok so this is our 
uh, I can map like this okay so that is nothing but uh, R is nothing but okay so R is nothing but so J in, uh, K into Q okay so we can take this answer so K into Q okay so its answer is k into q okay so now we got the expressions okay we got the equations for uh, s value equations for s and then r so based on these equations we will write the logical circuit so let us see this uh, let us see that one okay so here i will write the logical circuit here i have to write the logical circuit okay so let us remember the equations i am going to write s is equal to j into q bar so i am writing here the equations that we got is s is equal to j into q bar and then r is equal to k and then q okay so with this we will write the logical circuit so the logical circuit can be written okay so let us take a flip flop okay so uh, we will write uh, sr to jk so we will take uh, uh, the s value here the flip flop inputs are s yes, and then r and then we will write a q and then q bar here okay so q and then q bar so there will be a clock here okay so we will write the clock okay so this is our clock and then what is our j what is our what is the input for s yes, and then what is the input for r okay so input for s yes is nothing but one and gate okay input for s yes is nothing but one and gate so the inputs for this and gate are one is j okay so one is j other one is q bar okay so one is j other one is q bar okay so let us take i have q bar here so i have q bar here i am going to take this q bar from this okay and i am going to give that as one input for this hand gate and the other input is j okay so we will write j here okay so j and then this is going to be the q bar and then for r okay so it is also one uh, uh, it is also a one it is also one and gate input for r so that and gate inputs are okay so k other one is q okay so k other one is q let us take k and then q already q is available here so let us take q from here okay q from here and then pass this as input for this and gate okay so this is our logical circuit for the conversion of sr to jk flip flop okay so let us remember the procedure first we need to write uh, first we need to write the character first we need to identify what is our required flip flop and what is our available flip flop from that you need to write the characteristic table for the required flip flop okay and then after that we need to write the excitation table for the available flip flop after that we will write the conversion table after that we will write the conversion table so the conversion table will be like this first you need to write the required flip flop inputs later we will write the present state and then next state from the present state and the next state you will write the available okay so flip flop inputs okay so by looking at the excitation table you will write the sr values okay and then after that you will take the k maps for getting the expressions okay so the k maps for the for the s yes, as well as r okay so we have calculated so by after by using using this obtained equations okay so we will write the logical circuit okay so this is the conversion from sr to jk thank you